Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and welcome to this newest, newest edition, Running On Empty, Rainy Day edition. And if you, if you have noticed, you might say, well, what is this ring right here? What exactly is that? Is this some sort of a new, you know, decorative piece? What is this? Is, this is a new, uh, a new locale, isn't it? Well, somewhat. Back in the car, it's been a very long time. You know, there used to be a time a couple years ago where it was always in the car. Um, but we are back because this is an item that deserves this new locale. It really does. I know that there are the risks of the pandemic still. You have actually a tropical storm, if not a hurricane, passing through, hence the rain. But you know what? This is worth it. It is worth it, it is worth everything. And once you hear it, you will understand uh, completely. No questions asked, no doubts. I mean, everything is settled. Ladies and gentlemen, Taco Bell has re-released the Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. The Toasted Cheddar Chalupa is back. It's back. It's here. Maybe it's not better than ever because I hated it the first time that I tried it. But we'll see. Maybe it is going to be good this time around. <laughs> but either way, yeah, it is It is back. Taco Bell has this, um, you know, semi-new release. But it is always interesting to try out these sorts of things. Um, because it's been a year since they last had it. And of course, in the meantime, they could always tweak things. They could always make adjustments. For better or for worse, they can say, look, uh, we realize that we messed up. We're going to work on it to make it better, um, tastier. We're going to work on our faults, etc. Or they're going to say, yeah, we're going to punish you guys a bit more and we're going to make it even worse, or, you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? So, um, here's what it is. The toasted cheddar chalupa. It comes with seasoned beef, lettuce, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, sour cream. So you might say, okay, well, what's so special about it? It sounds like you're your standard chalupa. -er. Well, here's the deal. It's all about the shell. Because the shell has... And I kind of laugh when I see this, but this is just how they describe it. Uh, a six-month aged cheddar cheese blend on, on the shell. And when you look at it in the pictures and in the advertisements, of course, they, they make it look uh, almost gourmet, almost artisan-esque, you know, something that, uh, you know, you might go down to the trendy taco cafe and, and pay, you know, $45 for on a good day. Uh, but instead, you could just go to Taco Bell you can fool all your friends, all of your, uh, all of your, uh, your crew on Instagram, take a picture, say, yeah, I blew, you know, 55 bucks on this at the, you know, wherever, taco, uh, taco place, the trendy one. But instead, you could actually just go down to Taco Bell, get it for $2.99 by itself, or as a, a $5 meal deal. So that's what it comes down to. It's all in the shell, hence the toasted cheddar chalupa. It's just supposed to look nice and be a little cheesier, but more gourmet, perhaps. You know, slightly slightly better than the normal fare from Taco Bell. Now, I didn't like it the first time. I thought they made it look a lot better than it tasted, and it ended up being very greasy, very oily, and very bland. But sometimes these re-releases are surprising. Sometimes they're surprisingly good, sometimes not. So that's going to be the interesting thing. So we're going to see how this holds up. We're going to see how it ends up being, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, before we get into the rest of the review, because of course we're just going to take a look at it, we have it in the protective um, radiation resistant foil, which is always, always a plus. Uh, I do just want to uh, give a little bit of a shout out real quick. Uh, on my Patreon, I have a tier where it allows for a shout out, uh, be that to friends or to anyone or really anything. It's, it's really a case by case basis, but it's just a fun tier uh, on my Patreon at patreon.com slash the report of the week. It helps this channel, it helps my radio show, my podcast, helps keep it all going, and it's a lot of fun uh, for you guys as well. So it's something to look into, but I want to give a, a quick shout out. Uh, congratulations are in order for Xander and Kat in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, they eloped on October 26th. Best wishes to the both of you. So a little bit of a fun shout out there, but if you want to get a shout out to, again, anyone, uh, just check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash the report of the week. It's just something that I do, and I want to let you all know that it exists and that it's there in case uh, you're interested. Now back to the review. The Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. Like I was saying, it is here. Okay, 
This is meant to withstand the end times, as a matter of fact, so it's like this for a reason. And what we're gonna do now, sorry if I wasn't totally in focus for a little bit, but now we most definitely are, is we're gonna take a look at this. So again, you can pretty much see, it, it looks like how I remember it, okay? You can see right there, close up view, the beef teeming out of it. All right, then you look a little bit up, you see the lettuce, you see some of the, the cheese, the cheddar cheese, the tomato, but then there's the famous, the famous toasted cheddar cheese on the shell, All right? Pure gourmet. Uh, this, this honestly looks like something that Gordon Ramsay would have made. Crazy, isn't it? But you can see, there I am with it, and let's uh, hold it up like this, just the precious cargo. Right, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out. But again, you can see it's all in the shell. It's all in the shell. That is the focal point. That's what everyone's focusing on. Because again, you can see the cheddar cheese, the toasted cheddar, and all of that. Now, again, it comes with sour cream on it. Okay, but I will try it with some fire sauce as well to add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of spice to your life, as they say. <laughs> but, uh, let's just try this out. We know what's in it. We're just going to see uh, if it's more flavorful than I last remember it. So, um... Again, my eating might not be perfect. At least I'll take a couple bites, and then we'll go from there. Uh, toasted cheddar chalupa going in. One more bite. Sorry if I take a while to eat, I'm just trying to chew on the other side of my mouth. All right, here's my observation. And again, I'll try it again with the fire sauce real quick. This is what I noticed. When I tried it out a couple, I guess last year, it was very bland and it was very oily. This time around, it's a little better. Definitely not perfect, um, but I will say that they have improved a little bit. It's much less greasy than it was when I tried it out in 2019. I remember in 2019, it was just like oil filled. It was just really bland and it was, it was downright gross. Uh, you can see right now, looking at my fingertips, they aren't shiny, they aren't oily. Uh, there is much less grease in it, and that's a good thing. I think the overwhelming greasiness was a bad thing, and uh, they seem to have gotten that under control. What I do notice, though, is there actually is a bit more beef in it as well. Uh, I can taste the sour cream. I can taste the uh, tomatoes as well. The tomatoes, I think, also add a little bit of like a, a juiciness to it. Um, you can actually see these are some nice, more plump tomatoes, which are are actually nice. It's, <laughs> I think the last time there was an issue with them, too. And the cheddar cheese I can really taste. Not only do they have it, of course, on the taco itself, which is your standard shredded cheddar cheese, um, but I can also taste it on the shell as well. So I can taste that cheddar cheese. It's most definitely there. Um, much more flavorful, but I would still recommend probably getting this with the sauce. Um, but overall, definitely, I like that you can taste more of the meat this time around. Uh, I like that you can taste less of that grease, um, but I can still taste that cheddar cheesy, I guess, goodness, as some would say. But in the end, I think it's more flavorful than it was the last time, and that's definitely uh, a bonus, because I was worried that it just wasn't going to be all that great, um, but it definitely is an improvement this time around. I am going to put a little bit of fire sauce on it, and we'll just see what difference that makes. Let's try that real quick. <laughs> this is one of those things that, again, even though it comes with the um, sour cream, definitely get it with the sauce, be that mild, medium, fire, whatever you want to use, Diablo, if you're really daring. 
Um, but I like the spiciness that the fire sauce adds. I think it's a good accompaniment. I think it works out nicely. So um, I would say pair it with the sauce. But overall, I think it is a big improvement to last year. Uh, definitely, it, it still looks nice, but it tastes much better as well. Now, price for this again was uh, two dollars ninety nine cents, or five bucks for the meal deal. So, out of ten, what am I going to give it? Last time I gave it a four point nine out of ten. This time I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. Still a tiny bit of room for improvement. It could still be a little more flavorful. It could be maybe a little cheesier, um, but overall it is much better. So Taco Bell, you guys did good. Definite improvement this time around. And that's what I like to see. Sometimes the first time isn't always the best, but after that it can get better. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Thank you for checking out today's review. We tried out the toasted cheddar chalupa. Thanks again. Do take care. That's all for now.